Hey everybody, it's Paul with HaveYouSeenThisApp.com and welcome to today's show. Today we're going to be talking about a brand new app from the Food Network. It is called In The Kitchen. And if you're searching for this on the iTunes store, make sure you search for the words In The Kitchen. And it is from the Food Network, the big TV network. And it is a great app. I highly recommend this app. It's brand new today and it's only a buck 99 and I think it's well worth it I'd pay five or ten bucks for this app uh, maybe not ten I'd play I'd pay over five for it though and it's got resolution for the iPad iPhone and iPod touch you just have to buy it once and you can use it on all those devices thank you Food Network so let's load it up and take a look now first of all it's got 45,000 recipes 45,000 that is a lot of recipes that's very impressive. So when you load it up, here on the left side, it's got the types of recipes. So appetizers, Asian, brunch, chicken, cocktails, healthy, which is good, I like that. So it's got all kinds of different types of recipes that you can choose from on the left side. Here in the main part, at the top, we have a Thanksgiving special section, since that's coming up. And then below that, we have all the chefs from the Food Network. So basically, there's a number of different ways you can find recipes. So let's say you like a certain chef and you want to find out what some of their recipes are. Let's uh, try Guy Fieri. So we'll tap on him and it pops up his recipes. And he's got a ton of recipes on here. If I scroll through them, I can load more. And I, I believe he has hundreds on here really impressive let's just click on one let's click on tequila lime wings and that opens up that recipe and so it's got a picture here that you can touch and that picture will actually get large so you can see a good view of what it should look like which is nice and of course it's got the serving size and stuff and then below that it's got the ingredients we kind of need that if we're going to make the recipe so that's convenient and this is really nice on the iPad because I could see being in the kitchen having this on a stand and then going through and creating the recipe and then of course it's got the directions down below so it's really nice to be able to see a picture and have everything right there now one really cool thing is the ingredient list if you notice there's a little circle next to each ingredient and this app also has a very nice shopping list to it. I'm very impressed with it. So let's say we needed the chicken wings. If I touch that item, it makes a check mark and then there's a little icon that popped up right here that says add to shopping list. So let's say I need that and the tequila lime sauce, the lime juice and the tequila. So we select everything that we need and then we can just tap the add to shopping list and that adds those ingredients to your shopping list let's take a look there's a little icon right down here called shopping list if I tap that look at that we have our shopping list and I've added some of these uh, earlier today just playing with it but it shows your shopping list and it's broken up by recipe and so there's also a check mark next to this a place for a check mark so if you're at the store let's say you have your iPhone with you you can be going through your shopping list and as you pick up each item you can tap it and check it off so you know that you've already picked up those items you have those in your cart so it's really nice very convenient to be able to make a shopping list in this app from all the recipes that you want to try out and you can take it with you with your iPhone iPod touch or the iPad in the store and it's really nice so I really like that touch. To get back to the recipes, we can just tap recipes right here. Now I'm going to hit the back button there. And in addition to selecting by chef, like I said, there's other options here. So here's appetizers. We can tap that. And then it brings up tons and tons of different recipes. And again, it's got the ingredients, the directions, everything you need to create that recipe. It's very, very nice. And then you can make a shopping list and you're good to go. 
Another nice thing about this app is the unit converter. I really like this. And basically, you can convert from anything, tablespoon, teaspoon, ounce, cups, pints, quarts, gallons, etc. Shows there's 16 cups in a gallon. So anyway, you can do that any way you want, all kinds of different conversions, and that's volume. You can also do weight conversions with grams, kilograms, pounds, and ounces, all right here from within the app. It's a very, very handy feature of the app. It's also got a recipe box. So as you're going through all these recipes, if you want to save some of your favorites, there's a little button right here under each recipe that says add to recipe box. It signs you in and it says recipe successfully added. You do need to go to foodnetwork.com and set up an account to use the recipe box, but it's completely free, so it's no big deal. Once you've done that, you can just tap the recipe box and it'll show up all the recipes that you've tagged for your recipe box, which is very convenient as well. That, and then lastly, what I want to show you is the timer. Right here, it's got a little set timer. So if you want to set a timer, you can do that. So if you're working with this in the kitchen, you can have the timer going and time something. It's really nice. I really like it. So that's the timer. And then one other thing is a share button. If you really like a recipe, you can hit this share icon and then share it with your friends by email, Facebook, or Twitter. I really like this app. In terms of scoring it, I'm going to give it a solid 9 out of 10. Um, in my opinion, the only thing it's missing the only reason why I'm not giving it a 10 out of 10 is because there's not any nutritional information. If this had nutritional info for every single app, it would be a 10 out of 10. It'd be a home run. No brainer. But because it doesn't have the nutritional information, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. It's an amazing app. I highly recommend it, especially for only a buck 99. So check it out in the kitchen by Food Network.